Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to have a look at what they call system diagrams. Alright, so let's get it in there. Systems diagrams um, are graphic, represent graphic representations of what machines do go, uh, sorry, go through at various stages. So, uh, what the machines do at various stages. Uh, what happens when I make a machine do its work? Uh, it's quite similar to a flowchart, but it's much simpler. All right, so here we've got a guy uh, that would obviously have gone through a various a series of things uh, to get the, uh, his jack to work. All right, so let's have a look then at how they've uh, managed to put this process into a systems diagram. There's three sections, obviously, input, uh, process, and output. Okay, the input section asks what makes the system uh, work. The process, uh, process section asks how the machine will respond. And the output section asks what the machine produces. All right, so here, in the, for example, of the car jack, the person operates the lever. They pump it up and down. The, uh, what is it happens during the process? The lever pumps hydraulic fluid from the reservoir into the cylinder. The cylinder contains a one-way valve and it builds up pressure. And then what's the result? What's the output of this uh, jack stand? Um, the pressure or the buildup of the pressure pushes the arm and it lifts the car. All right. And then the last one is just some quick examples of input and output kind of questions. So, for example, we've got a mechanical uh, mechanism, a hand drill. And what is the input on the hand drill? Obviously, we turn the handle. So that you turn that little handle around. What's the output? The uh, drill bit rotates. Okay. The process of that guy would be uh, something to do with, oh, the gears interlock with each other, and it converts the uh, circular motion into a, a different plane. So it rotates it. Hey? Um, the second example there is a scissor jack. Now that scissor jack, if you get the proper handle and you start to twist it, it will then um, have some kind of output effect. What would happen? It would end up pulling this together and raising up the whole platform. So that's a scissor jack. And then another simple example on the end, there's a clutch pencil. If you push the button on the back of the clutch pencil, which is the input, uh, what happens? Well, the lead moves forward. The lead comes out. Okay, so very, very simple examples. Uh, but that's system diagrams. Thank you.